A longtime supporter of Siouxland Racing, m t Motorsports is once again proud to be the presenting partner of the IMCA Sport Compacts at the new Raceway Park, fueled by Total Motors of Lamar's. Mark Dorsey and Mike Vote not only support racing, but compete as well. m t Motorsports, presenting partner of the IMCA Sport Compacts. As we go green right away here with the Sport Compacts on the front row, Jaden Hammond and Gage Riesdorf going to lead the field into turns one and two. Also out there, the 13T, Richard Gray, and Cheyenne oh, McCauley whoa. slideways, Taylor Brown, the 35JR, nowhere to go. Michael Brown out there in the blue 35M car, Austin Honeycutt in the 3A, and Zach Bollmeyer. The 24Z car. Last week's feature winner. I take blame for that because I was gone opening night. So, Well, yeah. Last week we were really distracted with all the giveaways we had. So. No, you're not wrong. All right, so it looks like we're going to re-rack, repack, and restack for a complete restart. Jesse Ford drops the green, and we are back underway as Gage Knapp is going to lead the or win the charge down into turn number one. Jaden Hammond in second. And you've got uh, the 3A right there. That is Austin uh, Honeycutt. Indeed, Austin Honeycutt. Uh, problems down at Harlan last night with his other car, so he has his old car out. Uh, right behind them, you have, I believe that's 35 or 34M of Michael Brown. Yeah, Mike Brown, 35M. 35M. 35JR of Taylor Brown. And Zach Bollmeyer and Richard Gray rounding out the field in the 24Z and 13T. Which Richard Gray down to Denison Friday night had a pretty good run going too. So uh, nice to see him kind of venturing out to other tracks. But right now it's still the Gage Cluster. Gage Riesdorf two laps down, and he is uh, starting to definitely gap Jaden Hammond and Austin Honeycutt right now. That 13 car on a rail, and uh, Heather is definitely excited right here. You can see that for myself. As we're going to come down, we're going to be halfway home. Three laps down, three laps to go. Three laps go for the 13 of Gage Riesdorf out with a race lead. Jaden Hammond, the 29 JR, in that second place spot. Austin Honeycutt, though, trying to catch up to the back bumper of Hammond there, the 29 JR. Then a distance back to fourth place running Michael Brown in the 35 M car. Gage Riesdorf going to get the green flag. Two laps to go for the 13 car. About to be a battle for second place as we come into turns one and two. Hammond way up the racetrack. Honeycutt tries to cut underneath him. Cannot do so. Track just a little bit on the slick side yet. But uh, it will become nice and tacky and racy as these cars uh, blow off the uh, marbles up top. As Gage Resorf takes the white flag one more time around the new Raceway Park, PJ. He goes through one and two, and uh, I'll tell you, even he's a little bit sideways, but not wavering from his line. He's going to fire it off down the back stretch as he comes into three and four one more time. The Gage Cluster, Gage Resorf's going to pick up the win. Jaden Hammond, great run for that rookie as he'll take home second. Austin Honeycutt third. As they come down for fourth, it's going to be Michael Brown. Followed by the 24Z of Zach Bollmeyer rounding out the top five. Do not start till you hit the cone, as uh, there has been the last couple of weeks uh, some instances of a little hopping, skipping, and uh, maybe even a little jumping going on. So Cullen Gossage, Arturo Garcia, leading them down through three and four. And good side-by-side -side start. Oh, Gossage actually gets not really a good start. It's going to be Garcia leading him down to one. Once again, still a little slickery out there. 38 as Kyle Reed on the low side gets a little slideways. But Mike Vogt is going to get to the inside of Garcia. They're going to go side-by-side -side down into one, the 55. Spencer Jans right there as well as he'll take over third spot from Reed, but it's going to be Mike Vogt leading lap number one as uh, he also led last year, or last, sorry, last week and won his heat race. So it is Vogt, Jans, Brown, Garcia, and Reed, your top five, but it looks like uh, Reed is a little bit under pressure from the 7G of Gilbert Aldape. El Dape, the 7G car, taking a look to the inside of the 38S of Kyle Reed for that fifth place spot. Out in front of the 442 of Mike Vogt, still showing the way here in your second of two heat races here for your MT Motorsport Sport Compact Division. 
Jans in the 55 car. Running in that second place spot, Connor Brown in third, Arturo Garcia, Kyle Reed, your top five. El Dapi on the outside looking in, trying to knock on the door of a top five, Haley Bulware and Colin Gossage rounding out your field. Mike Vogt with a, almost a straightaway, half a straightaway, I should say, advantage over second place. But look at the battle here for second coming into turn three. Jans and Brown were side by side down the backstretch as Vogt takes the green flag. Two laps to go. Great battle here for that fourth play and fifth place spot between Kyle Reed and Arturo Garcia. And let's not forget Gilbert Eldape also in on that as well as Eldape now going to the inside of the 38S of Reed. Reed trying to find any possible traction to get by Garcia. Not quite able to find any. Mike Vogt flashes under the flag sand. White flag is out one to go. Spencer Jans in second as he brings Connor Brown right with him. But then it's a huge gap back to the fourth, fifth, and sixth place battle. Mike Vogt just tiptoeing through the tulips one last time as he is going to come out of turn number four. It's going to be Mike Vogt with the win. Spencer Jans second. Third to Connor Brown. Fourth place is going to go to the 5A of Arturo Garcia. And Kyle Reed rounds out your top five. Uh, scheduled to start on the pole, has decided he was going to go tail and Charlie, so that is going to move the 99 of Dallas Williams, the 14Z of Zach Bales, and the 44 of John Kane up a row. Yep, and the caution was brought out by that doggone French driver, Jacques Debris. All right, we are firing them off once again. Green flag is out, and the natural, Caleb Brunson. He is going to lead the pack down into turn number one. Dallas Williams is second. 14Z of Bales in third, and now he is bringing the 2C of David Carter with him. And rounding out the top five, that is going to be John Kane. They're all now looking like a freight train, except for Ertman, who is down on the low side. Not sure why Ertman chose to go to the back, but we'll see if he can make his way up front right now. Starting to try and pull away from Williams a little bit. That is the natural, the double OK of Caleb Brunson. And uh, Caleb, last night in Harlan, great run he had. Uh, started six, fell back to ninth, worked his way all the way back up to third. So I'm telling you, they call him the natural for a reason. That kid can flat drive. And he is leading heat race number one right now. If you're sign matchers, wild things, hobby stocks. Dallas Williams running in that second place spot in the 99 car right behind him. David Carter and Zach Bales rounding out your top four with John Kane looking at the inside of Zach Bales rounding out the top five. Brunson still with the race lead coming off turn at number two trying to put some more distance between him and the 99 of Williams. Carter took a peek to the inside of Williams that time by off turn number two. Williams up high. Carter a little too hot coming into turn four. He's going to gather the car back up underneath him, but he's going to lose a bunch of spots. As Zach Bales pushes in one and two, John Kane up to third now. Don't forget, Scotty, only the top four out of this heat are going to transfer into tonight's A main directly as the white flag is out for Caleb Brunson. Right now it is Brunson, Dellis Williams, John Kane, and Zach Bales, your top four right now. As uh, they're going to come up on, oh, Bale, or uh, sorry, Brunson's going to come up on lap traffic. That is the 18. He hangs it high, wide, and around the outside. And uh, Caleb Brunson's going to take home the heat race victory. Dallas Williams second, John Kane third. And that final transfer position is going to go to Zach Bales at the end. Where you, were, where you went last night proves that. I went nowhere last night. Uh-huh. Keep telling yourself that. Even Cody's trying to cover for you, but I know. Pace quickens. Green flag is down, and we are racing, and it's going to be Justin Fraley. Oh, as Austin Lundquist, uh, I don't know if he was asleep on the switch or the car is having a problem, but got a horrible start. Justin Fralick to the early lead, and uh, check out Michael Finzen in second. But look at Tony Fetterman, oh. though, started tail end Charlie almost up to that third-place spot now. Finzen in second. Here comes Fetterman for that second-place spot 
in a turns one and two. What a run by Fetterman. Fetterman coming around the outside of everybody like around mock Jesus as he now sits into second and he uh, sets his sights on the 76 of Freilich as Freilich going to lead another lap. We are two down, four to go, but I don't think I, the time limit is not going to be long or short enough for Freilich to keep the lead as Fetterman is right there on his back bumper as I'm trying to formulate words into sentences here. Oh, smoking. Oh, car into the That's wall. That's Schneider's. Ben Schneider's 34B. A little bit of smoke out of the 16 of Finzen. Some accidental contact between the 16 and the 34B. Schneiders did a good job getting on the binders and as he slid sideways into turn three and uh, just slightly uh, tapped the outside wall with the nose. Here for your sign masters, IMCA Wild Thing Hobby Stocks. Justin Freilich leading them through three and four. Once again, two laps down, four laps to go. Green is out. And it's going to be Freilich leading him down into turn number one. Fetterman tried the high side, thought better of it. It's going to try to turn down the low side. Can't get enough grip coming off of two. So he is going to try and repack himself for another shot. As this time, he's going to drive it down the hill going through four. More smoke coming out of the Finzen machine. It's a lot more smoke coming out of the Finzen machine. I don't know, but I think that uh, something is about to let go in that thing. But right now, it's still Freilich leading. Fetterman, Finzen, Miller, and Jansen, your top five. Not quite sure if that's a loose valve cover on the motor of that 16 car with a smoke. Could be the rear end transmission, uh, rear seal on the motor. Who knows? But yeah, Michael Finzen still keeping that big old 16 car in third place as Tony Fetterman gets by Freilich. And just as I speak, Finzen up the hill. He's going to lose a few spots back to fifth now as he's going to battle with for fifth between Pierce on the low side. Finzen still on the high side. He will have that fifth place spot. Green is out and flying high. Two laps to go, actually a lap and a half for the seven car of Tony Fetterman. He will see the white flag this time by off turn number four. Fetterman coming out of four. Going to fire it back down the front stretch one more time. Flies under the flag stand for the white flag. And uh, he has definitely gapped Justin Freilich. All he's got to do is hang on for a half more, half a lap more, and he will have himself a heat race win. Sending it down into three and four one more time, and it is going to be Tony Fetterman from the outhouse to the penthouse. Last to first, he is going to win. Justin Freilich second over a hard-charging David Miller. Lowell Jansen in fourth. Oh, and unfortunately at the line, Pierce nips Finzen for fifth. So for those of you watching uh, live on our Facebook look-in, we will be ending the live look-in right after this heat race. So be sure to head on over to racewaypark.tv or advantageracing.tv and even imca.tv uh, if you would like to finish watching tonight's action right here at the new Raceway Park as we are cutting the live look-in right after this heat race, your third and final heat race for your sign masters IMCA hobby stocks as Brian Campbell leads the field in a turn number three. As they're going to lead him into turn three, the battle is on between Fitzpatrick and Smith for second and third. Oh, a little bit of a bobble by Smith. So that's going to move Logie Bear, as you call him, Logan Fitzpatrick, into that second place spot. Carl Monroe in third, but here comes the Toy Scout. Joel McGee going high, wide, and handsome. The Kenny Wallace line was uh, got up beside Monroe, but unfortunately got into the slick stuff, not able to capitalize. He'll fall back just a little bit as Andy Hoffman is now going to get by. McGee for third to push McGee back to fourth. And it looks like T-17 of Dowdy rounding out the top five. But uh, right now it is Brian Campbell as he is starting to put a whooping on him as there's a huge gap between him and Logan Fitzpatrick. We're halfway home, three down, three to go. Sioux Falls driver out of South Dakota here, the number three of Brian Campbell with the race lead out off turn number two, right ahead of Worthing, South Dakota, the 221 of Logan Fitzpatrick. Andy Hoffman looking to the inside of Fitzpatrick now for that second place spot through turns three and four. Green flag is a flying high. We've got two laps to go. 
Logie Bear, Logan Fitzpatrick still holding on to that second place spot as he comes to turns one and two. We have Fitzpatrick on the high side, Hoffman on the low side. Logan gets a little better run off charter number two that time by. Meanwhile, out in front, three of Brian Campbell. He's going to see the white flag as he comes by the flag stand. He is going to fire it off down into one and two one more time. Smooth as he could be. He's going to come out of two. I'll tell you, the three of Brian Campbell has not been succumbing to uh, the slick spot in two, but uh, at, like everybody else right now, we got to battle for second as Brian Campbell is going to take the win. But it is Hoffman getting by Logan Fitzpatrick. That opens the door for the one Emma Carl Monroe. Hoffman in second, Fitzpatrick at the line by a nose goes third. Monroe fourth, and Joel McGee will round out your top five. Ladies and gentlemen, as they come out of turn number four, this is your parade and wave. We want everybody up and on your feet. Let these drivers know how much you appreciate them coming out, entertaining you on a Sunday. This is your M&T Motorsports Sport Compacts. Next row is going to see a 35 exit Connor Brown into the outside. Last week's feature winner, the 24Z of Zach Bollmeyer. Row six, going to see the 35JR of Taylor Brown on the outside. Still 7G of Gil Gilbert Eldape. Row number seven to the inside, 13T of Richard Gray into the outside, the 14C of Ms. Cheyenne McCulley. Your eighth and final row is going to see Colin Gossage in the 21M. A to the outside, the number 14 of Haley Bolware. We are going green this time by off turn number four. Your first A main here of the night on Mead Lumber Night. Green is out, and we are underway with your MT Motorsport Sport Compacts. Gage Riesdorf leading the field into turns one and two. Jaden Hammond to the inside. Gage Riesdorf, great run off turn number two that time by for the 13 car. Leading the field into turns three and four. We got them three deep, almost four deep off turn number four. We got a beating and a banging as well. As contact between El Dape and Jan's a car going around and coming to a stop. Looks like the 35M of Mike Brown in turn number two there. Caution flag coming out for the 35M of Mike Brown. 24Z of last week's feature winner coming up from 10th up to 2nd, Zach Bollmeyer. Then you have uh, your pole sitter, Jaden Hammond in 3rd. Connor Brown in 4th. And the 38, that's Kyle Reed in 5th. This time, Gage brings him around. Doesn't go until the... Tell the cone, clean start. Look at Bollmeyer going to the outside of Reesdorf, though. Bollmeyer not quite able to do it. Gage able to hold him off. A little bit better run on that mid group. It is Nap. Here comes Bollmeyer. Bollmeyer is going to clear Brown. Now here comes Mike Vogt. Mike Vogt checking back into the top five as he's going to get around the 7G of Aldape. No, sorry, the 29GR of Hammond, but Aldape also in the mix. Bollmeyer now going to the inside of Nap. This time he's got the preferred line and new leader, Zach Bollmeyer, as he's looking to go two for two in two weeks here at Raceway. Knapp trying to get it back underneath of him. Unfortunately, that car pushing like a dump truck right now. Nate looks like he might be uh, losing a spot to the 35X of Connor Brown. Out in front, it is Zach Bollmeyer, 24Z, last week's A feature winner. Gage Resource sitting in that second place spot. 13 car, Connor Brown in third. Mike Vogt and Gilbert Eldape rounding out your top five. Kyle Reed and Jans knocking on the front door of that top five right now. Back behind them, you see Austin Honeycutt, Jaden Hammond, Cheyenne McCauley, Arturo Garcia, Taylor Brown, Richard Gray, and Haley Bulware. Meanwhile, up front, Bullmeyer leading the way in the 24Z. And oh, Arturo Garcia almost got into the front stretch wall in that 5A car near the back of the pack. Bollmeyer out with the race lead, though, as he's going to see cross flags. Six laps down and six laps to go. Austin Honeycutt, he is back a little bit further back in the pack. He is cutting his way through as uh, he started eighth, fell back a little bit. Now he's trying to check his way back in. He's uh, currently being... Battling Spencer Johns and uh, the 35 or 38S of Kyle Reed. So Johns and Reed now looks like uh, Honeycutt's going to get around Johns. He's going to go to work on the 38S of Reed. A little bit further up for second and third. We got a battle going on. Gage Riesdorf and Connor Brown. Connor Brown with a feature win already this year here as he won opening night here at the new Raceway Park. They're still side by side. A little bit of uh, push from Knapp, but he, oh, contact, 
contact. Connor Brown gets into the left rear of Knapp. Knapp's able to save it. Heads up driving by Ga or sorry, Gage Riesdorf. I keep saying Knapp, but his mother's a Knapp. But Gage Riesdorf heads up driving by the kid. It's once again, cars pushing a little bit. That allows Brown to get under there. But Riesdorf with so much better of a better line, he is able to get ahead of Brown. Two laps go this time by for Zach Bollmeyer. With the race lead, Riesdorf, the, the gauge cluster still in that second place spot. Holding off a hard charging Connor Brown. Mike Vogt in fourth. And Gilbert Eldape, your top five coming to the white flag now. 24Z, Zach Bollmeyer takes the white flag one more time around. That battle for second still going on is na now Nap to the, or sorry, Riesdorf to the inside. I'll get that right one of these days, I swear to God. And Brown to the outside. Brown now going to take second, but coming off a of turn number four, two weeks in a row. Zach Bollmeyer, your winner. Coming down for second, Connor Brown, Gage Riesdorf third. Mike Vogt fourth. Gilbert Aldape rounding out the top five. So what a race going on behind the winner as Bollmeyer checked out and took off. Picked up the feature victory last week and now coming back and just dominating once again. How is this racetrack feeling from last week compared to this week? I love it. I ain't got nothing else to say to that. It's, it was nice. Some tough competition in this uh, class, but nonetheless, coming out on top twice, who do you have to thank for putting this car in victory lane once again tonight? First of all, I got to thank my mom, my dad, my brother, my girlfriend, Laney, and uh, more shoes cars, Nap Auto Parts, Beatrice, Nebraska, and Hardin Farms, and the list goes on. I'm probably forgetting somebody. Well, best the field once again, congratulations. Zach Bollmeyer, your compact feature winner, brought to you by M&T Motorsports. For your sign masters, IMCA Wild Things Hobby Socks, give them a wave and a shout. They're here to put on a show for you here each and every week at the new Raceway Park. Once again, the ticket number in your program, 962-148, 962-148. For a Raceway Park sweatshirt. As we got green flag coming on out, we are hobby stock racing. Great start from the three car of Brian Campbell as he's going to lead the race field down into turns one and two. Look at Caleb Brunson. Brunson shooting out to that second place spot. Gets on the binders to avoid contact with Campbell. As we've got Frey, like a little slideways, three wide out on the front stretch. Look at the absolute pandemonium from third on back. You have so many cars under a blanket. They're three wide, four wide. The action is absolutely phenomenal. Behind the new leader, Caleb Brunson. Brunson currently leading. Brian Campbell in second. And then once again, it looks like third is going to go to Freilich. Fourth, fifth, and sixth under battle between Miller, Williams, and Fitzpatrick. Now here comes John Kane checking into the mix as well. Field starting to string out just a little bit. No more three and four wide. However, they are for they are in fact still battling each other. Caleb Brunson, the natural, starting to gap the field. Looks like uh, here shortly he may actually catch up into lap traffic. The 22T of Tyler Smith, and oh no, we got Andy Hoffman to the 99 Dulles Williams around in turn number four. Oh boy. That, I'll tell you right now, that was such a wild start. Oh, I don't know if my poor heart can take a restart. I see Grandma McCauley looking at her program. Do we have a winner? No? Okay. All right, we're going back to the green flag here for your sign masters. IMCA Wild Things Hobby Stock A feature Caleb Brunson leading them back to the green flag. 
And into turns one and two. Brunson leading them out of turn two. Campbell running in second. David Miller up to third. Justin Freilich. And we've got him almost three deep behind him. Four, third, fourth, and fifth. Almost four deep off turn number four that time by as Ludquist goes around at the bottom of turn number four. Can he keep it going? He cannot. <laughs> All right. We so, still love you, Thomas. Don't worry. So Grandma McCulley with a frosty hat. Oh, don't tell me Grandma got another ticket down there, too. Well, we sort this out. We are coming back to the green flag. Caleb Brunson leading them in a turns one and two. Double OK leading them in a turns one and two. Now we got them three deep off turn number two, still three deep. Brunson slides up the racetrack ever so slightly. Here comes David Miller in the 34M car to the inside as we've got a pack of wild dogs, as Jay Kelly would call them through turns one and two here in this wild thing, Hobby Stock A feature event. Brunson with the race lead, car pushing in turns three and four, here comes Miller. David Miller trying to get a run to the race lead, cannot do so, John Kane in third, contact between Fetterman and Monroe on the front stretch. Scotty, we are about to have a battle for the lead as David Miller has caught up to the back bumper of the natural. Caleb Brunson, Brunson pushing up into three and four as they come back down off of their corner. Brunson still holding him off, but there's six laps to go, and Miller is right there. Miller stalking his prey right on the back bumper of Brunson as they go down the back stretch as they're going to fire it off into three and four. Brunson this time able to get the car to rotate, as is Miller. Miller about a lane lower. Brunson going to lead another lap, five laps to go. Well, oh, Carl, oh. Carl Monroe around in turns three and four, bringing out the caution. The one M car around in turns three and four. Just happened to catch that on the monitor. Oh, and Carl Monroe has uh, a left front flat, but uh, what a battle we were having. All right, cars doubling up, going back green this time by the flag stand. Caleb Brunson will lead them. David Miller to the outside, John Keene to the inside, Brian Campbell, Tony Fetterman, your top five. Green flag is out. We're back underway here with your Wild Things IMCA Hobby Stock A feature event. Caleb Brunson going to lead them through one and two. Miller bobbled up a little bit too high. Now John Kane is taking second. Miller rocket shot down the back stretch, pulls side by side with Kane. He wants second back, but while they are messing around, Caleb Brunson starting to gap them four to go. Once again, Caleb Brunson, three wins in his rookie year last year, looking for win number one in 2021. Would love to do it right here at the new Raceway Park, fueled by Total Motors of Lamar's. He is going to get that car to rotate. He's going to shoot it back down, go into the flag stand with three to go. Once again, Miller and Kane battling back and forth. That is for second and third. Fetterman and Campbell, fourth and fifth. They're right behind them, Zach Bales, if uh, the three and the seven bobble, Bales will be right there, as is Jeremy Ertman and Logan Fitzpatrick. Two to go, green high in the air for the natural Caleb Brunson. Brunson gonna lead him off turn number two, trying to stay a gap between him and the 34M of Miller, as Miller battles with Kane. Kane on the low side, trying to battle David, uh, David Miller, 34M. As Joel McGee on the top side of the racetrack off the backstretch, he's going to pull it to the infield. Half a lap to go for Caleb Brunson. Caleb Brunson, the natural as Finson starts to blow up in three and four. Can Caleb put it to victory lane here tonight? Yes. Coming off the line. No. no. David Miller. Oh, my. David Miller off turn number four gets the win. Wow, what a turn of events coming to the checkered. Oh, what a heartbreaker for Brunson, but... Miller had been dogging him most of the race and just happened to get the right line on the right spot. And uh, that was all it took. Unfortunately, the natural will have to wait till another Sunday to get his first Raceway Park win. Tony Fetterman pulling up to give congratulations to the 34M of David Miller. 
David, a great race here tonight uh, for your uh, Hobby Stock A feature. Following Caleb most of the race, Caleb giving a congratulations to David down here. Turn four, coming to the checkered. Caleb, that car just like seemed to push a little bit and you were there to take advantage. Walk us through that last lap. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna be able to catch him, but then I saw that car leaking that antifreeze and he slipped up in it and I got him. But putting in victory lane here tonight, how is the track breaking down? Is it racy? Is it real tacky? I mean, it seems to have a little bit of tackiness in it. What was this track like tonight overall? Uh, running up high, it's starting to get slick. Down low, it's got a couple slimy spots yet. But put it in victory lane nonetheless. Who do you have to thank for putting this 34M in victory lane tonight? Uh, my dad and my brother. So once again, David Miller putting it in victory lane. Congratulations, sir. Give it up for David Miller, ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Your Wild Thing Obby Stock Sign Masters A Feature Event winner.